I'm going to walk you through the steps to prepare and use Trapper. On the label, you can get the, some important information. The first is the working pressure, 12 to 20 atmospheres. And the second is the adjustable feature on the telescope. It shows you that there's a single black line for the 90 centimeter mark and a double black line for the 100 centimeter mark. Trapper can be used in a 6, 7, or an 8 French guide. The next step is to prepare Trapper catheter. You want to purge the air out of Trapper. You're going to attach a syringe or an inflation device with either 50% contrast or sterile saline. Holding it vertical, you're going to pull a vacuum and purge the air from the manifold. Then you're going to remove the air bubbles, reattach, and pull vacuum again until you see the air bubbles coming out through the manifold. That will let you know that all the air has been removed from the balloon and replaced with contrast. If you see a steady flow of air, that may be an indication that the product is damaged and you should pull a fresh trapping balloon. Now that the air has been purged out of trapper, the next step is to set the telescope. It comes out of the packaging preset for a 90 centimeter guide. If you have a 90 centimeter guide, do not adjust the telescope. Otherwise, there's a risk trapper could go out the end of the guide. Today, we're using a 100 centimeter 6 French guide, so we need to adjust the telescope from the 90 centimeter position to the 100 centimeter position by moving the orange telescope until the stop is locked between the two black lines. This has exposed an additional 10 centimeters on the length of trapper. Now that Trapper has been prepped, it's time to use Trapper. We've just finished using a Stingray LP. Because it's an over-the-wire device, you cannot take it out without losing control of the end of the guide wire. That's where Trapper will help. The first step is to move Stingray back until it's in the straight portion of the guide. The next step is to advance Trapper. Flush the guide and insert trapper through the valve. You may advance trapper without floral up to the stop. Do not position the stop next to the valve. You want to back it off one to two centimeters. Don't crowd the valve, otherwise you'll have difficulty working with your interventional device. The next step is to ensure that trapper is distal to the interventional device. So check it briefly on floral and then inflate trapper between 12 and 20 atmospheres. Remember higher pressure will give you higher wire securement. The rate of burst pressure on trapper is 20 atmospheres. Do not exceed it. Once trapper is inflated, check for wire securement. If it's not good enough, remember you can inflate up to 20 atmospheres to get better securement. Once you're happy with the wire securement, carefully remove the interventional device. Trapper will hold it in place. You can see you've now lost control of the wire, but Trapper's holding it for you. Now that Stingray LP has been removed, if you want to use a second interventional device while Trapper is still inflated, uh, load it on the wire and advance it. Here we have a Corsair microcatheter. We're going to advance it until we are just proximal to the trapper balloon. And we have access to the wire. You can see the wire is coming out now. And we're just proximal to the trapper balloon. Now I'm going to pull a vacuum on trapper. I have access to the wire and now I can advance the microcatheter. If I want more room in the guide or if I'm done with trapper, uh, what I can do is pull a vacuum and remove trapper from the guide catheter. It's always important to back bleed every time you remove the trapping balloon because there could be some air that gets sucked into the valve. 